Geological measurements, such as strike and dip of bedding, and trend and plunge of lineations, are important aspects of many geological maps. Showing such measurements on maps using ArcGIS Pro can be tricky, so I've created this video to show a way that this can be achieved. In ArcGIS Pro, create or open a project. On the View ribbon, choose Catalog Pane, Expand Databases, right-click on your Geo Database, choose New Feature Class. Enter a name for your new feature class. Ensure that you've selected Point as the type. Click Next. Now we'll add several fields that will be useful. Here are the field names and data types that I've chosen to add. Choose Next. Select the coordinate system that you wish. You may need to search for it. And then click Finish. Here in the GEO database is the feature class just created. If it's not already on a map, right click on it and add it to a new map. Zoom to the area of your study. And choose Edit, Create, choose the new feature class, and click on the map at the relevant locations. After creating your first point, choose Attributes on the Edit ribbon and enter the relevant data as you go. This one will make a bedding with a strike of 045, a dip of 11, and in this case we can add the dip azimuth, which will be 90 degrees round from the strike, and a dip direction. I've got auto apply ticked to save time. Back to Create, add further points as necessary, attributing as you go. We'll make a zero trend on this lineation. We'll make a 45 degree plunge. Um, the, in this case, of course, because it's a lineation, the azimuth will be the same as the trend and we'll make that a northerly uh, plunge direction of course. Add another point, in this case we'll make it a joint. Let's make the uh, the strike 170, we'll make the dip 65, and that of course is 290 and a westerly direction. When you've finished adding points, choose Save on the Edit ribbon. Now we'll import a style to show uh, geological symbols. On the Insert ribbon, choose Add, Add Style, and in the portal, search for Geology underscore 24k. Double click on this result. Now we can use that newly imported style to show these structural measurements. On the appearance ribbon choose symbology and unique values. Ensure that type is selected as the field to base the symbology on and click add all values. You'll get one different unique value here for each of the types that you entered. I entered one bedding, one joint, and one lineation. They've come up with a default uh, symbol of a circle, but if we left click on that, we can see our new style here alongside the default 2D and 3D styles. For each symbol in turn, 
choose the appropriate geological symbol from this Geology 24K style set. In this case, inclined bedding. And then click the back arrow, pick the next one. This is a joint. Here's an inclined joint. The back arrow, in this case, delineation. Delineation showing bearing and plunge. And the back arrow. We need to vary the symbology with, by attribute to set the rotation. So click that, choose rotation, pick the field, strike or trend, pick geographic. At this point you might want to set a reference scale for your map to make these symbols appear bigger. To do this, right click on map in your contents pane, choose properties and set the reference scale. It's choose 1 to 24,000 in this case. Then, as you zoom in, the symbols will get bigger. That wouldn't have been the case if you didn't set a reference scale. Let's check that they're all oriented correctly by opening the attribute table of your point feature class. So right click on your feature class and choose attribute table. Notice the bedding is correct striking 045 and dipping to the southeast. The lineation, however, should be uh, trending north. In this case, it's showing south, so we need to adjust the rotation of that one. And checking the joint, yes, that's going west with a uh, strike of 170. So let's go back to primary symbology. Click on lineation and properties and angle let's change that to 180 degrees and apply that's now pointing in the correct direction north and now for the labeling choose labeling ribbon enable labeling and under the field, choose dip or plunge. Choose an appropriate size. Under more, ensure that Matplex engine is ticked. And under label placement properties, choose to measure the offset from the exact symbol outline. Under rotation, choose the rotation field strike on trend. Have an additional rotation of 90 degrees. Now you may wish to use the uh, dip or the plunge azimuth in this case, so adjust as required. But in this case I'm doing 90 degrees added onto the strike and the trend. I'm going to do geographic rotation, so it's clockwise, and alignment, keep horizontal. So notice now that the map is showing the dip or the plunge rotated appropriately. If you add more points under edit, you can choose, for example, bedding. Enter the attributes as you go, either in the pane here or in the table if you've got that open. So if we make that uh, 060, and uh, 25, and 150 for that, and again that's going to be about south. under edit ribbon save your attributes and notice that that is now rotated correctly. Try another lineation. Enter the values.
Remember that you've got a reference scale set, so if you want to adjust that, right click on map, go to properties, and adjust accordingly. Or choose none if you want to have uh, that removed. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to see my latest videos. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.